morning guys or evening or whenever you're seeing this I just had like a couple extra minutes to make a video so that's what I'm doing anyhow um so I saw a video done by a friend of mine um and I'll link it in the description but she touched on some points like that I was thinking I could just make a whole video about. So, in in her video, she was describing that um, with things of like the spiritual variety or like something with a position of power, like say uh, a a priest at a church or something, and like the whole exclusive thing that they have, like, oh, only I can talk to God, or the same way in the same sense of a psychic, like, oh, only I can do this because there are only people born naturally with gifts like that, and I'm just like, and she was like, oh, that's, that's not a thing, like, that shouldn't be a thing because everybody can do it, and I'm like, you know what, yeah, you're right, because really it all comes down to is flexing the muscle, and there actually is a muscle in your head that like helps you with meditation and having experiences of that variety that some would label spiritual. So yeah, like, so I do divination every so often at um, a school club that I go to, like on a weekly basis, but I don't really go there weekly anymore. Anyway, um, there's always this one guy that asks like, hey, are you a psychic? And I'm just like, no. Not really, because like technically I guess I could be in that category, but I don't like using the word because the connotation's like, ooh, ooh, psychic, ooh, you can do like whatever that nobody else can do. And it's like, doesn't really come down to that, because like I said, it really just comes down to flexing the muscle. Like, our brains grow and develop and everything, and the brain itself is a muscle within itself. But then it also has other parts that um, that you can, uh, stretch out and work out and basically be make become stronger. Like you would like a bicep or a tricep or your leg or whatever, from push-ups or whatever. But instead of push-ups, you're doing like a lot of, uh, pineal gland, uh, flexing. And now how you work out the pineal gland, as far as I have known in my personal experience is a lot of meditation, uh, eating and drinking the right things, which can be really hard depending on where you are, um, and like just, uh, there's like some third thing, but I can't really think of it right now because, uh, I have like a little bit of time before I gotta go into work, <laughs> and I'm looking at work right there, it's in my face, it's right there, anyhow, um, so yeah, it just really comes down to flexing the muscle. And, uh, like, when I say eating and drinking the right things, like, there's a lot of, like, a certain chemical in, like, water in, in like, North America, or at least the U.S., and you're, you're gonna try to avoid that, and if you can't avoid that, because, it, frankly, it's in the water already, um, you also have, like, foods, like, certain high vibrational foods, they would say, like, a lot of greens, a lot of natural stuff, you don't have to particularly go vegan or anything, but a lot of people who try to take on this path usually do, or vegetarian or something, like, they do something with their diet, I, I personally just eat, like, whatever, um, is put in front of me, but I try to usually try to go for the healthier option, like, now I'm eating salads at work and stuff, so, yeah, just extra cheese, because, man, salad's boring without cheese, <laughs> um, so, anybody can, like, go and talk to their deity, anybody can go and talk to, uh, angels, uh, higher beings, hell, aliens, um, as they would possibly be known, but it's like other dimensional stuff. It's like this whole world of things, but, um, yeah, anybody can do that. It's just, you have to, like, first do your baby steps and make sure you ground, because I noticed a lot of times when someone's like really in their higher chakras, in their higher self, like the third eye, the throat, the crown chakra, if they're mostly concentrated there most of the time, not all the time, because you want it balanced. You have to ground yourself and be like, hey, 
uh, I'm still of this earth, I'm still of this plane of existence. Because when you forget that part, you just kind of float in a space, mentally, emotionally, everything else. And that's not necessarily a good thing. It's not like the worst thing, but like, you want to make sure that you're all, you're all right everywhere. That it's all balanced. Let's see, anything else? Um... So, this will be the first video of me being moved out, and just to let you guys know, I am now living with my parents, and we're already, like, um, getting all the little residual stuff in and out of rooms and stuff. So everything's going pretty okay. Uh, right now I gotta go into work, so I'll catch you guys later. Bye! <laughs> See you later.